G'day guys, Matt Swift here. Now, I've got a 79 series and it's fitted with the R-Max ECU. It's been in there for some time now and I am blown away with the difference it's made to that truck. I'm lucky enough to be at Safari 4x4 Engineering HQ and these guys are gonna give me a rundown of the amazing tech that makes it so good. Dwayne. Swifty. How are you, mate? Good, thank you, how are you? Great, good to see you. You too. How's the truck going? Mate, it is unreal. I'm actually hoping you can run me through this R-Max ECU. Mate, it'd be a pleasure. Well, mate, you've had the unit in the car for six months, so I'm sure you're well accustomed to the features that the Safari R-Max ECU offers. Today, I thought we might go a little in depth to some parts you may or may not be aware of. I'm so keen to find out more, mate. Honestly, it's a really interesting bit of gear. So one of the unique features to the Safari R-Max ECU is how we control the injector. Okay. We control the injector in the same manner as the OE. What that does is we get the original pulse signal from the original ECU and we completely replicate it. We don't add onto the end of the main pulse. We completely re replicate that signal and have total control of the injector in the engine. So is there any compromise to reliability? No, and that was one of our focuses, was to ensure we operate and open the injector exactly the same way as the original ECU. So what's involved with the development of the R-Max ECU? Yeah, so good question. Four years of blood, sweat and tears. Safari has a fleet of vehicles to be able to develop product like this for these applications. A thousands of accumulative kilometres testing these vehicles in real world conditions in Australia to ensure that we deliver a product it's fault free with no compromise. So today, we've got yes. the 200 series here for you, Matt. You're kidding, yeah. And we're gonna hook the van up and you can go and test it in towing mode in oh, the Victorian hillside. Let's do it, that sounds unreal. All right, mate, well, you're all hooked up. Why don't you go and put it through a paces? Unreal, thanks, Dwayne. Eh? So I've been driving my 79 series for about six months now, fitted with an R-Max ECU. Dwayne from Safari HQ has given me the rundown, and today we're out in the 200 series driving the Black Spur. With a three ton caravan behind, I think this will put it through its paces. Let's see how we go. So I'm on the road, I've selected map three, which is an adaptive towing mode. The first thing I notice is the increase in bottom end torque. What the EC is actually doing is monitoring my driving technique and engine load. What it does is it provides the best in fuel economy and power. Another great feature of the R-Max ECU is the ability to live monitor exhaust gas temperatures. What this means is no matter what conditions or what you're towing, you know that your engine's safe, which means you don't have to think about it. So I've dropped the Jayco and I've found this nice little bush track. I'm really keen to test the R-Max abilities so I've chosen map four, which is a traction assist. And what this does is it provides smooth, controllable throttle response, but still allowing full torque and power. Let's give it a go. So I can really feel how progressive the throttle is. Even in, over these rocky humps and bumps, doesn't seem to be bouncing on the throttle. I'm not sort of lurching backwards and forwards. It's all really nice, beautiful and smooth. Being able to control the throttle so easily just eats it up. There's no argument. These 200 series are great from the factory. This R-Max ECU takes it to the next level. I'm loving this thing so much so, I'm gonna continue up this track. So any further information, jump on the Safari 4x4 website. Catch you later.